Hi, I'm Seth with Hornady Manufacturing. In today's tech tip, we're off the reloading bench and we're out here at the shooting range. I'm actually out here to do some cold bore tracking for the upcoming hunting season, but I thought now's a good time to do a video on how I get into the prone position. Everybody's a little different, there's a lot of personal preference, but what's important is that you get into a repeatable position for proper recoil management. Let's get started. The first thing I like to do in getting in the prone position is to get in a center line behind the rifle. We're shooting basically at 12 o'clock here, so I'm keeping a straight line so that the recoil impulse is directly back through the stock into my shoulder through the right side of my body. I do this, I put my right arm out, create a small pocket here so that the butt stock is not too far out on my shoulder or too close to my neck. Next, you don't want to pull the rifle towards you to get comfortable. By doing that, you're going to backload the bipod and the recoil impulse is going to try to skip over. What you want to do is lift the rifle up slightly, push your shoulder into it, load the bipod, and then come down flat and lay your chest down. What you want to do is try to keep your shoulders as perpendicular to the rifle stock as you can within reason. If you start letting this arm creep out or you're off to one side, the rifle stock can escape to that side and under recoil, it's going to jump to one side or the other. So once you're front loaded into the bipod, you come down nice and steady. You should basically be in line with your target. And what I've personally found to help me is taking my thumb on my shooting hand and I bring it directly behind the safety lever. Uh, by doing that, I think it helps with how I manipulate the trigger. And instead of pulling the trigger by moving my thumb over, I can press the trigger almost like I'm pressing a button. And I do all these things when I get in the prone position and it helps me be repeatable. And that's what we're trying to do is to be repeatable. If you're repeatable here, you're gonna be repeatable on paper. Thanks and stay tuned for more tech tips.